Here I am at the last three stitches. I'm going to put one half double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, and two half double crochets in the last stitch. Oops. At this point, your circle should be just a little bit bigger than the base of the candle. So that's how you want it to look. And now this is the end of row two, three, four. You're at the end of row four. You're going to continue to crochet to row 20. And all you're going to do is just be putting one half double crochet in each stitch around. So rows, or I'm sorry, round. You're going to be doing round. So round five through 20, you're just going to half double crochet in each stitch around. Once you get to the stitch marker, you just want to remove it half double crochet and then replace it every round so that way you don't lose count. If you don't need the stitch marker then you don't need to use it. I always like to use it just to keep track and not have to worry about distractions. So there I go with the first half double crochet and then I'm just going to continue to put one half double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so we're on round five. Go ahead and work rounds five through 20, continuing with just one half double crochet in each stitch, moving the place marker or the stitch marker, and I will meet you at the end of round 20. Here I am at the last two, two stitches on round 20. I can tell that it's coming out too short, and I'm going to stick my candle in. And I'm about this short, so I'm going to crochet about five more rows. So instead of ending on 20, I'm going to crochet to about round 24 or 25. And if yours is coming out way too big, you can also go down in a hook size to get the right gauge for the candle. But 20 isn't going to be enough, so I'm going to crochet about five more rounds and I will meet you at the end of 25. Here I am at the last two stitches on round 25. I'm just going to half double crochet in the last two. And then this is what you should have. That's what it should look like. And then just go ahead and stick your candle inside and make sure it's the perfect size. You do want it to be a little bit longer than the top of it, right there. You can see that. It's just a little bit longer. And then what you're going to do here is grab one of your rubber bands, and it really don't matter what color, because you're just going to crochet over it. So in the next stitch, you just want to pop out the stitch marker. Go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch by sticking your hook through, pulling through, and pulling through again. Slip stitch made, chain one, and now you're ready to single crochet around your ponytail holder. To do that, you are going to go into the same stitch for a single crochet, then in the back you want to go through the ponytail holder. Now you'll wrap your yarn and pull through the first stitch. Now pull through the two. That is a single crochet made. Again, repeat that into the next stitch, going in the stitch, up and around the ponytail holder, working your single crochet around the ponytail holder. Again, go into the next stitch, working around the ponytail holder, single crochet. And you just want to continue that around. Your ponytail holder is way smaller than the hole of the candle holder. So as you're crocheting, you'll just want to stretch it open as you're running out of room. So I'm just going to continue to single crochet around and show you what that looks like. Making sure to catch the ponytail holder into each stitch. 
and single crocheting around. Just continue around and as you can see it looks like I'm already running out. I'll just keep pulling it as I'm crocheting and working around the ponytail holder. Single crochets. It will start to bunch up over here. That's okay, that's what you want. Just continuing to work around with your single crochets. And as you can see here, I still have a lot left and a little bit of ponytail holder. I'm just going to keep pulling the ponytail holder to make it bigger. And then just continue to work around. With your single crochets. And just continue that and I will meet you at the last few stitches. Go ahead and pause it now. Here I am at the last three stitches. I'm just going to single crochet around them. I'm continuing to single crochet in the little bit of ponytail holder I have left. And one more stitch. And then you just want to join. I will join to this stitch here. So you wrap, pull through, and then pull through, and join made. Now you just want to go ahead and cut your yarn here, leaving a small tail. Wrap and pull through to secure. Now you just want to grab your uh, yarn needle, thread that, and then you're going to weave in this tail. And to do that, I go, I turn it around and I work into the back. I skip this first stitch here and I will go straight down into the stitch here and pull it down through the middle there. I'll pull it and all that does is just even out the row for me right there. You can see that. It's okay if you see the ponytail holder on this side since it is the inside of it. Then I'm just going to go ahead and run this around the stitches here where the ponytail holder is and pull it through a few stitches. Pull it tight. Okay. Now I'm going to backtrack a little bit, going through here, and then just running it still the same way. That just secures it in a little bit better. Pull the tail piece through. And then one more time, just backtrack a little bit, going in through here, weaving it through a few stitches. There you have it mostly tucked in all the way. Then I'm just going to cut off this little bit of tail that's left here. Then just get your candle and slide your candle through there, stretching the rubber band open so it could fit. Slide your candle through. Now I like to make mine longer than the candle. That way when I'm not using it, it's closed off up here. But then when you want to use it, don't forget to just pull this down. And this is why I add the rubber band because it secures to the top of the candle. So if you could see that, that's the way it looks like. And then if you're not using it, you just pull it up over. And that's the way it looks when you're not using it. And then just when you go to light it, pull it down. 
keep it there. That way the fire's not on it. And this is what it looks like. So there you have your candle holder. I hope that you have enjoyed the tutorial. Again, this is Dee with CrochetTalk.com.